To allow importing into TL Lead Manager, you must first allow ActiveX. The easiest way to do this is to go to your Tools and then Internet Options. And from within the Internet Options, go to Security, Trusted Sites, and then we're going to add TL Lead Manager as a trusted site by clicking Sites. Most often, the address is already in there and you can just click Add click close and then now we're going to set our custom level to allow for ActiveX. To do this you click custom level and then within this window you want to scroll down to everything that starts with ActiveX. Make sure it says enabled or prompt. So enable, prompt, and you'll want to make sure that it's all ActiveX. This will only allow ActiveX within trusted sites, so you don't have to worry about it being in anything that you just visit on the webs on the internet. Once that's all set, you'll just click OK. It says, are you sure? Say yes. Then click OK. And now ActiveX will be enabled, and you can go through the process to import your leads. Importing leads in a TL Lead Manager is fairly simple. First, you must either have the batch created or create a new batch. You can create a new batch by clicking Add to and then choosing New. From here, you can create the batch tag, and you must enter a cost and the number of mailers. You can always put in zeros. You can select your company, division, or agency. You can also upload a lead card image and add batch categories. Once you've created your batch, go ahead and click Make New Batch. Once you've created the batch, it should take you directly to adding a lead. From here, you would like to import your lead, so you'll go to View, and then choose your batch by either typing and then clicking or scrolling down and clicking. From here, you'll see Import Leads from this file, and you can choose from the file, so I'm going to click on Browse and find my file, which is here, Import Leads. And I can see this is still in an Excel worksheet, so I need to change that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that as well. So I'm going to hit Cancel. Then I'm going to open my spreadsheet. And from here, I can see all of my leads that I would like to import. The most important thing is that all of these column headers follow the rules. The rules can be found on that main page, and I'll show you where in just a second. From here, you want to make sure their first name, middle name, last name is all correct. If you have any additional fields that don't match up to fields that we have, they will automatically be put into our general notes section, so you won't lose any data. From here, you then want to save this as a CSV file, so File, Save As, and then I just put it on my desktop because it's easy to find. I'm going to leave it as import leads and save file type as CSV comma delimited and then click on save. It's going to give you kind of a warning error. Just click yes. Once that's saved, you can then go back into your Internet Explorer, click browse, find the CSV file, which is this one. Click on it. You can either double click or click and hit open. Choose the format, which is TLLM standard, and then you can either skip duplicate lead check. If you click that box, it will not check for duplicate leads within your database. You can also send an email to a batch manager. This underlined word here is where you can find the import rules. I will also put that towards the end of this video so that way you have them. Once you've got them all set up, you've selected your file, TLLM standard, I'm going to click on Skip Duplicate Lead Check so that everything goes in regardless of a duplicated lead, and then click on Import File. Once you click Import File, my system asks me or it prompts me that I'm going to be using ActiveX. I click Yes because I would like to use it. It says Lead Import Start, and then all of my files as they import in will tell me if it's imported successfully. If a date of birth is incorrect or anything like that, it will tell me if it's discarded or if it was skipped due to error or if I wasn't skipping duplicates. It would also say Import Failed Duplicate Lead. Once everything's completed, it will just stop loading, and then you can go into that batch and assign those leads. So that is how you import your leads into our system.